Brags, flags. We got you in this motherfucker. What's pie? That's right. How you doing? You cool? Cool, man. This man, man. Trying to warm up. Trying to yeah. warm up. Trying to warm up. Ain't no wrong with that. Look. Okay, so we in St. Louis right now, but where are you originally from? I'm from goddamn East St. Louis. East St. Louis, Illinois. Like what part? Uh, I'm from the Gump, uh, 6th Street. You feel me? Yeah. We got, we got the trenches. Yeah. You feel me? Okay, okay. You feel me? Got a little history. You feel me? I ain't trying to, you feel me? How old is you? I'm 20 years old. 20 years old. I see you graduated. Yeah. Like growing up in the trenches, what was your motivation to make it through school? For real, for real, like, a lot of a lot of older niggas who I seen grow up, you feel me, the older niggas be having a, you know, this and that, you feel me? And a lot of niggas just ain't, you feel me, finish school, you feel me, niggas just be, you feel me, just be thugging, you feel me, all their life, so you feel me? Me knowing, you feel me, these niggas not finishing, you feel me, these niggas don't work, these niggas ain't worried about the future, you feel me, because school will really help you in the future, you feel me, you ain't got no diploma, you can't really do nothing, you feel me, the diploma started off. Right. Goddamn. That's a starter kit. You feel me? That's a starter kit, you feel me? And then, you feel me, I just wanted to, you know, just put on for my damn family shit. How many people me? in your family have graduated from school? A lot or a little? Siblings or like family family? Family. The I can, ones that you fuck with now? I can count on my hands. Okay. So you I wanted to lead by example? Mm-hmm. That's what's, up. That's what's up. How did you feel when you walked across that stage? Actually, I didn't even graduate high school. Like, I, I, I ain't graduate high school. So how did that work? Like, I, had, I saw you in the game. Look, uh, look. Uh, this is how I went. Like, I was hustling. So, like, like this is like ninth grade, 10th grade year. Right. You feel me? I used to come in with candy, snacks, all that. You feel me? So throughout my high school year, you know, that's what I was known for was selling snacks, you feel me, just hustling, everything, you know. Cool little kid, you feel me, fresh, you know. Then most most upon that, you feel me, I was really respectful. So, you know, I can just be smooth, you feel me, cool with the principal, the teachers, everything, you know. The mess. <laughs> even the students, even the students, everybody ain't really like because, you know, they weren't really up top of everybody else, you feel me. I was right. just cool with everybody, you feel me, making everybody feel the same, you know. Goddamn. Yeah, I went on my subject. What you ask? <laughs> Goddamn. I said, what was your motivation? Uh, my motivation? I just wanted to, you feel me? I just knew what I could be, you feel me? I just knew because, like, I just always hustled, you know? Oh, back, you was talking about uh, with, the, with the graduation. Yeah. Yeah, you feel take me? Your uh, take your time on skin. Look, take a deep breath, sure, nigga, sure. and then look, don't say you feel me so much. For sure. Try to take away from that. All right, good. Yeah, because we're going to feel you regardless. For sure. Uh, like, I was, you feel me, and while I was hustling with my little snacks, you know, I started thinking outside the box, you feel right. me, so I started, you know, making some little edible snacks, you feel me, so you want to think upon it, you know, and I just used to be moving smooth with it, but it just, you feel me, all of my high school year, you feel me, my senior year come, you know, me and a little partners, you feel me, I was helping other people out, you feel me, hurting me in the long run. Uh, I ain't gonna, you feel me? I ain't gonna, gonna do him like that, but you feel me? My homeboy let me down, you know? Right. He, he you feel me? He done did something, you feel me? Now, how did that, like, affect you from graduating or not? It did, it did, very bad. Like, I'm trying to, it's, it's, it's it stopped story. everything. It's a story. Yeah, it, it, it stopped right there. You had to right still there. overcome that. It stopped right there. Like, when they, you know, boom, boom, you know, did the school deal, whatever, boom. Came and got me out of class, you know, school, lockdown, dogs, everything. So they trying to get a lockdown on me, you feel me? Came and over. You feel me, you know? I I, I wasn't yeah. on that time, you know? <laughs> yeah. That wasn't me, I wasn't him, you know? Right, right, right. And you feel me? So they, they, they just knew, they just knew it was Brad. So they just kicked me out of school, you know? And happily, they let me come back. They, they let, let you come they back. They let me come back because I was a cool old kid. So you was able to get a duo. Man, they gave me a duo. <laughs> they gave me a duo, man. That's what they hold on. So you was able to get a duo. I was able to get a duo. Yes, he is about to come back. The very first day I came back, man, 
I just, you feel me? I was just feeling all good, you know? This fool brought on some gummy edibles, you know? Yeah. And it was just a snack on it, it was just two of them. I was so paranoid, you know, I'm just like, all right, I just put them in my sock, you feel me? Just so, you know, just so it won't be no problems, they won't have to check me or nothing. I come in, they go straight for my ankles, like, you feel me? Checking me down, you know, it's supposed to seem that I can't come to school like I really did something, you know? Right. Man, man, whipped out the little edibles out of my sock, man. I was, I'm like, man, I'm ignorant, bro. I ain't had no business doing that anyway. Like, it was just a piece of candy, you know? Right. They didn't got rid of the whole district 189, got rid of it. So after you came back, came you back. had to leave again. Leave again. Just and then man, what? Man, I, I ain't had no business. I went to uh, I went to Vincent Gray. It was uh, Vincent Gray High School. It's across from uh, it's like uh, 9th Street, 10th Street, in St. Louis. Right. That school really helped me, you know, think of think outside the box. You feel me? Because they allow like 18 year olds to like 24 year olds to you know get their diploma from here. So you know, I took it seriously and like okay, hold on. You want me to, like uh, pull up on this? Yeah. What you mean, Barrow? You know. Boy, you gotta calm down. They were your side. You got a do over after another do over. They gave me a do over. And then, and a yeah, all right, I got it. And, you know, I, 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 I ain't even blame them for it. I just blame myself. You know, I, you know, District 89, they kicked me out, you know, so I had to go to a, 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 another district. But this um, this academy, Vincent. Yeah, Vincent Gray Academy, yeah. they allowed it, you know. And, you know, I just took the time out to really just think, you know, this is my 12th grade year, I made it this far, you know, and like my business hasn't even started yet, but I already has a business type of attire, you know, it's just like the yeah, way I carry myself. Yeah, yeah, the way I carry myself, you know, that just wasn't me, you feel me? And I ain't even blame myself. You know, well, I blame myself for it because, you know, I'm the reason it happened, but all upon that, you know, the school allowed me to come back. And I just took the time out, you know, to really focus, you know, get my mind right. Because after I graduate, you know, you in this real life, you feel me? So you need to go. And then I, I used to think so hard on it, like, am I going to work or am I going am, am, am to be my own boss, you know? And it was just like, I just I just, I just couldn't really get to working, you feel me? So yeah. it just like, I took my time out. And as I was at school... I ain't, I ain't have a job, you know, I was just washing cars, you know, just doing my regular hustle still. And happily, the high school, the, the, the academy was down the street from my hood, so I get out of school, go right down the street, you know, got my bucket, everything, my towels already in my book bag at school. Got Tyshawn, everything in my book bag at school. When I leave here, I'm going to go make some bread. I already made my status, meet me out here, $10, $5 car wash. Right, right, right. But, you know. What we're trying to hook you up, yeah. Hey. Real. Motherfucker was fucking with me too, cause it was just like I was just a young hustler. The way I carried myself, everybody just that's what get you busy already. Yeah, mm -hmm. everybody was already you know shopping with me, tipping me, you know, supporting. So look, now you said you want to be your own boss growing up. Mm -hmm. Okay, like Kanye West and Virgil. I don't know if you know them. Like Virgil, I, I heard of them, but I know Kanye West. Really yeah, of well. course, that was a person that like. Started the Yeezys with, mm -hmm. and they took an internship at Louis Vuitton. Would you ever do something like that? For real, for real. It probably would take me some time because you know I'm just I'm, I'm fresh off into the entrepreneurial business, so it might take me some time. You know, I might get with someone who really know about business and, and ownership. You know, right. get with you know just get some professional business going before I actually sign my business over to a bigger business you know well not even so much as that just an internship to where you can actually like learn like an apprenticeship well yes 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 actually i will you know not even second guessing or having to, to ask someone else you know i can just like i'll i i can see i i I'll feel if it's genuine or not you feel me or i see you know but i will take you know just to get myself going on a, on another level right you know? okay Okay. All right, now, how did you get started in customizing shoes? What started it? Yeah. Like, like, what was your first pair of shoes you ever customized? My first pair of shoes? <laughs> yeah.
I think I got them chunks on my phone. Cat. But but no, nah, I actually do. I actually do. How long ago was this? This was uh, I started customizing shoes on uh, July second. What the 2000, fuck? You know the date. July second, two thousand eighteen. No, no, two thousand seventeen. Yeah. Two thousand seventeen. That's what's back. And but you so started like announcing it around like two thousand eighteen. I mean, I've been announcing it, just wasn't really going nowhere because I really wasn't promoting. No, what the shoes at? Come on, yeah, come on, bitch, what's up? Yeah, I almost got off subject, but yeah, though, what really made me get into the customized business because like it was certain street shit that was going on to where like I wasn't even involved in it, but it was just the niggas who I was around. Shit was targeting me. So you feel me? I'm just like, you know, I know what I'm worth. I know what my life worth. So you feel me? I'm it's just, another way. I'm going to just branch off. You feel me? And actually, it was me and one of my homies, you know, that was hustling, watching cars together before the shoe business. It just, you know, he got caught up in some other He still in the situation. System. Nah, nah, my homeboy gone. Uh, you know, it's some R.I.P. You know, R.I.P. my boy. He went down on my neck. I keep okay. him with me. Okay. You know, he was like my right hand man. You know, we washing cars together. You know, five dollar car wash and we splitting ten dollars together. You know, it just, it just like he was just on some different time. You know, and he was with the different crowd. And you know, I was just still thinking outside the box at the time because I knew him what what the situation could lead to. Mm. And you know, that that really just when when I lost my friend. You feel me? It just it just I had to put my mind on. You feel me? I could lose my life too, or I can just you feel me? Just 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 grow from it and just you know just 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 become just become the person who I know I can be instead exactly. of just you feel me just faking in the streets you feel me exactly. you got guns this and that you feel me I always kept my head on you know but I actually look I got pictures right here selling snacks in school you know I know right this. this was uh this was uh this was like tenth grade year you see I just reposted it okay so the snacks you know going to Sam you know car wash material Cleaning the cars up. Daylight, nighttime, I was getting to it. Get yeah, man. Get to it. Goddamn, I wish I could find a shoe. Uh, yeah, yeah. Nah, hey, hey, hey. You ain't yeah. had, like, when you was, when you first made your first pair of shoes, did you have the, uh... I'm finna find, I'm finna find. Angelus, was it Angelus, uh... Yes, the Angelus paint. You had that. Yes. The first yes. time you made your first pair of shoes. First pair I made, yes, I did. Cat. And my shoes, they, they How did you know about legit. that thing? So you was already researching? Nah, because, like, actually, uh... Kingdom, Kingdom, uh, his, his name Frank, he from East St. Louis, he just, he, he sponsored by Angelus, he from East St. Louis, and he, you know, he was just doing his thing on shoes, and I was just on Instagram, you know, I like that, you know, and I can, and I know I, can, I got heart. You said I can do this shit. I know, you feel me? I'm knowing rather than spending this much money, you feel me, like it's just gonna take time. But so how long did it take to do your first car? To my, how many like, hours did time, you put in? Time? Yeah, how many hours? Um... For real, for real, I just painted the whole forces black. You know, I just painted them black ASAP, you know, and then I just splatted colors on them just to get a quick little, just just, just see how the shoe turned out. And I started adding designs on it, and I actually liked it. I started wearing them up for A few motherfuckers gave me a little, you feel me, them motherfuckers ugly, but, but you feel me, <laughs> hey, I gotta grow my business, man. Right, right, right. I'm gonna be the model for these motherfuckers right now. I'm gonna yeah. find them motherfuckers. Yeah. Take your tag, take your tag. All right. And it was actually like my homies, like actual homies, you know, I used to have older niggas, so you feel me, they just, they older anyway, so you feel me, you niggas don't know nothing about this business, I'm finna, you feel me? Right, You feel me, right. like, like y'all head wrong, you feel me, y'all don't know nothing about this, you feel me? You was like, yeah, you put putting them up on game. this shit, yeah. Put your own game. Yeah. Now look, why you, why, why you like, yeah, searching for the new shoes, what up, the first pair of shoes? Let's talk about like your relationship with the NBA young boy clip. Ooh. How did that happen? Ooh. Man. Because that was like what catapulted you, right? Man, that was that was that was what 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 what, what hit the light switch for me. Yeah, because really? you like on pictures. Man, hey, I got They man. doing uh photo shoots with the shoes, everything. Yeah. Man, that, that, that changed that, your right, life. That's like a deep breath right there, cause it right. actually happened in St. Louis. Like it just, right. it just happened like in two days. Like, like man, it just happened like so fast. And I just went with my mood. Them shoes was so fucking dri the black ones. Uh, the ones yeah, that yeah, uh, he yeah, did yeah, the yeah, photo yeah. shoot with. Bingo, bingo. I got the first one. Pause mm -hmm. the NBA situation. Hold on, here come my first one. You know, it was red bottoms. You know, 
They were just some splatted. They were just, you feel my first part ever. What did you shoot? Them forces? It was forces. Oh, you feel them all had. Hey, I did something to them, you feel me? I did something to them, you know, rather they Them was, hoes? They was all white. They, they, they was them right there. They what? Right there. So you restored them? They was them right there on me. They was them right there. Go back. They was those. No motherfuckers, yeah, like, you can't show me no more. <laughs> Damn. And then, show the finished product. Finished product, right there. That's crazy. Like, that was my first part, bro. When I seen that, I just knew I could do something with it. Because I know, you know, yeah, that you right there, turned that, that, view, into that, that view, that view. You know, and I was selling iPhones at the time, too, so I just had a whole business going on. I had two iPhone 8 Pluses, one 8 and one 7 Plus. Hey, I was, man, look. It was going down then. It was oh. going down. It had car washes, everything going. But back to the the NBA situation. Uh, I seen uh, they manager posted uh, some custom shoes, mm. and, and at the time everybody just thought that was my work. So he right. just going crazy tagging me. I'm getting so many notifications. I'm like, what's going on? You feel me? Like, you feel? Me? I'm thinking something bad went on. You feel me? Right. I'm refreshing. Everybody tagging me under it. So I'm like, man, who done done these shoes, man? Come on, I can do way better than that. You feel me? People tagging me like I done done this. I ain't done that. You feel me? Uh, they thought it was your work. Man, I'm talking about, I'm finna find those too. I'm talking about everybody tagging me in the comments and then. How long was you in the game at this point? It was like a few. A few months, like six months. Oh, so you were still fresh. Six months fresh, you feel me? I was fresh. Bring out them sneakers. Show us show us what you got right now. Yeah. yeah. Eat, you just yeah, made these I joints eat. in like the last, what, day or two? These overnight. I made a few of them overnight. Wow. This is to my big bro, Terry Beckner. He is a uh, professional football player from East St. Louis. Okay. You know, got Dior. Drip, drip. Got my tag on it because it's official. Yeah. yeah. Close up on that tag. Let's see the tag. Oh, uh, zoom in on that tag. Zoom in on that tag. Yeah. I came okay. up with all this from the dirt. Don't play with him. Come on, let's see I another got more first. Right here. I got more what you here. got? What you got? I'm gonna leave him sitting out. I'm gonna. Oh, God. I'm gonna leave yeah. him sitting out. No fingerprints. No fingerprints. No fingerprints. Uh -huh. Another pair of Dior's, you know. Ah, uh, it's that I made these literally last night. Them whole last night. Now, what does something like that go for? These right here go for a shoe included, shoes a hundred. The custom is like one twenty five, and shipping is like one twenty five. So your total will be looking around two fifty to two seventy five ish, no matter what you want. That's not bad at all. That's not bad. And I do eight. Sometimes I get caught up with my shipping, but I, I, I tap in with my customers so they can understand what I what recently I'm saw that with the postal service. Yes, they've been like bullshitting mm -hmm. basically. Yeah. Another pair. Now what do you call that? Oh, camo bait. Yeah. It's camo bait. Damn drippy. Hand drip. painted. Damn you. Damn them drippy. Drip. Hand painted. These so no design same. is gonna look the same. Mm -mm, no design will so look the same. So they all are one on one. One on one. Yeah, one on one on my line. Damn them all. Sit him down. Where's Steve? I made mean, these so long ago she never oh, yeah, came yeah. and got her on. She never came and got her order. Damn. So it's like some scam blocks. I don't scam those. It's like some, <laughs> some scam blocks. Trippy. I actually made foes of her. Yeah, I saw them. I tapped I them saw them so many times. So many St. Louis rappers have tapped them. The be rocking the, the fuck Hunter, out of you. Oh, yeah. Whole yeah. ammo game. Three problems. You know, everybody. Uh, Vic Mott. Vic Mott. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Vic Mott. Uh, Nike <laughs> Turbo. Uh, 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 Pooh Shiesty, got them. Shiesty, yeah. uh, uh, little Baby, got them. Everybody, man, I'm just going crazy right now, hoping I can keep improving with my craft. You yeah. know, everybody everybody believing in me, supporting me, you know. Hold on, hold on, turn on. Let just, me stop you real quick. Let me see that hoodie you got on. Oh, 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 I forgot. Let me see that I make so much yeah. drip. I make so much drip, I forgot I made it, man. Yeah, hey, let me see that fucking hoodie, yeah. And I actually made a YouTube to this last night. I saw it. You oh, know. God. Hey man, this is hand painted, man. He did that shit by this hand. This is hand painted. Man. By you know? hand, that's crazy. You know, man, this is hand painted, man. Check them out. Now, what would something like that go for? Me, honestly, I don't know. I'm just, um. Not yet, but you I dropping the, the merch the first, I right? Get the, I get the. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. I'm dropping the hoodie New Year's, you know. I'm waiting on the shipment to come in right now. New logo, everything about to go crazy, you know. 
But um, this um, <laughs> now I ain't gonna put you on the spot. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know because it's just yeah, so freestyle. Hit the DM. Hit the DM. Hit the DM. <laughs> now look. Tell us, tell us where we can find you at. Tell us where we can find you. Uh, you can find me. Uh, I don't know where you can find me, you know, but uh, just, just call me before you find me, yeah. you know. Uh, but you can find me at Brag Splash on Instagram, Brag Splash on Twitter, uh, Brag Splash website, everything Brag Splash, YouTube, everything. Facebook, Demonte Braggs, tap in with me from the East, you know. But I'm going to put it on for my city, St. Louis, goddamn United States if I could, goddamn, for real. All right, I'm going to ask you one more question. Like, the interview done for real, but I'm going to ask you one more question. What do you prefer more, designer labels or customized? Customized, because I don't really, I, don't, I love that you asked that question. I don't really like gluing the fabric and stuff because, you know, that's just, that's easy. You know, what can you actually draw and take your time and detail with? Because right. I'm a good detail artist, you know, and I'd rather take my time actually hand painting something rather than just gluing some on now, you know, like them, them slight works, those were just slight, I just made those overnight just to bring, just to showcase, you know, but right. I can actually take my time on a lot, on a lot. Yeah, look at these for example. Take my time. Now these fruity look oh, joints. Oh, oh, yeah. How long did this take? Those took, those, seriously, those took so long because I had to put color, dried up, color, dried you got up, to look color, good. dried up, you know, I forgot That's I made those. Okay, look, you started off with the donut print, yeah, and donut he was print. like the only one doing that shit. Mm -hmm. What made you do the donut print? Because like your first like dab shoes, I think on it, your it, it Instagram, was all donuts. It was donuts. All donuts. Because it was just like, it was an easy layout. It's like, mm -hmm. I know how many layers to put around the sprinkles, this. You know, the I'm, black joints. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go around and around with the paint. I know how many layers to put, and then I outline, I, I outline it, you right. know, just to make it perfect. And just fill in with little lines of color, then I just make donuts just easy custom. Them motherfuckers hard. You need to bring them back because you got to like I the do. glitter joints. I do. Mm -hmm. The glitter joints. Oh, I put those up. Man, I put those so you still up. got them? I still got those. I was going to bring them. I was going to bring those. So, like, how do you like know what to make personal? What the fuck is it? I don't know because it's it just like whatever, whatever. Actually, whatever I'm feeling like at the moment or like whatever I'm just visualizing, I just like just, just find a picture, a better picture of it and go in with detail. Right. It's all about the details. So, do you use the actual, like, uh, like it's like a box cutter type of uh, knife. Uh, exacto knife. Exact. Do mm -hmm. you use that? Yes, I tape up my shoes to get a perfect cut. Make sure no 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 spray no spray paint or no no spray not, not spray paint but actual um, airbrush is right. going outside of that line and you know tape it up and cut you know cut neatly. Okay. Firm knife. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, uh, I appreciate you guys reaching but, out, yeah. and I appreciate Here, take myself. Take a picture, kid. Take a picture yeah. of me and Brad real quick.